And a good Monday morning to you. This is Vermont's uh, weather hazards outlook through Velco. This is valid the rest of today, Monday, on this Monday morning through Sunday, November the 22nd. We're looking at uh, dry, seasonably chilly, good project weather to rule right through Wednesday afternoon with an area of higher pressure and control. A frontal system will approach the region with a band of rain showers that will move in for Thursday afternoon. Last into Thursday night and exit out overnight. Gradient winds, though marginal Thursday afternoon and possibly again on Friday behind a cold frontal passage. A weak disturbance will work through, or at least a small series. It'll pick up a little bit of moisture off the Great Lakes. And by that time, we'll be cold enough to see some uh, lake moisture moving in across the region with some scattered snow showers or flurries on Sunday. You're looking at uh, the last approximately five, six days here. And uh, one thing to notice here is this is uh, the sort of El Nino-influenced jet stream here. This is what we call the subtropical jet stream. And this is going to be a large part of what we're going to see this, uh, this winter with uh, many storms racing in across the southern tier of, of uh, the U.S. Now, uh, the Gulf of Alaska low is relatively accurate, uh, a active, I should say, and uh, producing frontal systems. But notice this big ridge of higher pressure. This is going to be the case off and on where you're going to see a strong trough of low pressure out west, and this is going to pump up a ridge of higher pressure and so forth, and then eventually these will become progressive and work across the country. So current conditions on this Monday morning, we're seeing uh, just a little bit of cloud cover and uh, some of that uh, dissipating out. Some uh, lower clouds uh, may get into parts of the Northeast Kingdom, northern Vermont from time to time. But otherwise, we're looking at a partly to mostly sunny sky today. Uh, no real issues. Back off to the west, however, this is the next weather system moving in. And uh, what you can see is a lot of rain showers and even some snow back over toward the northern Rockies. But overall, conditions will be quite uh, settled and we're looking at some really good project weather to last right through Wednesday afternoon. So valid through about uh, next Monday, this is the uh, Weather Prediction Center seven day total accumulated precipitation. This would be rain and snow. We're running probably about one inch or so, uh, 1.5 inches across the White Mountains of New Hampshire extending into Maine. A little bit lesser uh, precipitations across uh, parts of S Ontario province and then uh, a little bit more up to the Great Lakes. Uh, generally though, um, kind of status quo. And looking at the European model, uh, the uh, six hour panels here with uh, precipitation and uh, high and low pressure centers at the surface, uh, we can see first of all this is warm air of course in the lighter colors here. This separates uh, colder air aloft and uh, the ability to snow with any precipitation. This, these areas of precipitation indicated here. Uh, this is the area to watch near Denver today, but uh, looking at uh, that evolution, we'll see an area of low pressure begin to spin up and work across parts of uh, oh, the southern plains and uh, toward, uh, you can see a Mississippi Valley area of some strong thunderstorm activity and some fairly heavy rains. This uh, area of higher pressure is the one that's bringing us three days of decent weather, and our next shot of precipitation will be this narrow band that will extend uh, to our west, work across the eastern Great Lakes, and then begin to weaken as it moves into our neck of the woods. This is a punch of uh, much colder air aloft, or colder air aloft, and here we're looking at all snow. So looking at this and how the evolution works here, we start to see that frontal boundary move on through, things dry out, no real snow this week through Friday, and then we get into some lake effect moisture that works in with several different disturbances that kind of cut across and bring a little bit of moisture from the Great Lakes and move into the region. Thereafter, just to give you show the uh, evolution here, we're going to uh, basically recycle everything. Temperatures will warm up aloft. We've got a warm front moving through and then uh, another round of rain showers. And uh, here again, um, the western areas of the country will be the coldest and then warmest off to the east. Max temperatures over the course of the next uh, five days show temperatures running above normal for this time of year, running anywhere from three to six degrees. And then about three days later, you'll see a little bit of a cooling trend that works across the country with that um, a plunge of colder air, especially in northern areas, and then rain-cooled air across southern areas. But we're still looking at temperatures running actually above normal going into uh, about three days later. This would be three to seven days out. GFS Ensemble uh, definitely agrees with the European model. This is going to be the big showery day in the afternoon of uh, Thursday and into Thursday night and Friday morning. And then things dry out for a little bit of a break, but just cold enough for any kind of snow. 
And then we get into this sort of scattered area with some snow shower activity, looks like, for basically Saturday night into Sunday. And you're looking at the uh, current GFS model uh, ensembles uh, centered on Burlington, Vermont. You can see temperatures at night frosty, but uh, we warm up for the middle part of the week with the, uh, just out ahead of that occluded or cold front. And uh, then we cool back down, but nothing significant here. Aloft, uh, temperatures warm enough to support rain showers, and that will what will be moving through uh, on Thursday afternoon. And then behind that, it's cold enough to support snow showers. But you can see the model divergence here with several different uh, solutions and a general midpoint here. I would take this with a grain of salt, at least with the GFS Ensemble, past basically the 21st of November. Temperature schematic uh, over the next uh, several days, uh, nothing extreme. We're looking at highs basically in the 40s until we get into Thursday afternoon where temperatures probably will head above uh, the European models indicating somewhere around 50 to 55 for a high temperature. Uh, this is centered on Montpelier, Vermont. It could be a little bit warmer than that in the parts of the Champlain Valley. And then we see a little bit of a cool down here, but no great extremes indicated. Because it snowed over the weekend on uh, Saturday morning, we have a little bit of snowfall in the last uh, accrued last seven days. You can see eight inches atop Mount Mansfield. That is the most, and anywhere from trace to about one inch amounts. Uh, two inches at Walden up in the heights of land. This is about 17, 1800, uh, 2100 feet elevation, I believe it is in this particular area here. So a couple of inches, eight inches at the top of the uh, mountain, uh, Mount Mansfield. What about uh, on the ground? Nothing really here to get excited about here, but we're carrying uh, anywhere from one inch to two inches uh, Walden. Uh, there's more than that atop Mount Mansfield, I suspect, but uh, we're talking about the upper elevations. And looking at the longer range uh, temperature trends here, uh, going through December 11th, you can see that uh, one real spike has been uh, pretty consistent. Uh, temperatures are indicated to get up around 60 degrees. Again, this would be along about Thursday of this week, ahead of that uh, frontal boundary with warm air streaming in ahead of it. And then the cool down, but we're right back to basically seasonal norms. Looks like we go a little bit below normal as we head in toward the, uh, the 28th, 29th, 30th, uh, and that carries over, it looks like, into the 2nd of December. So this looks like a, a cool down here of sorts ahead, and then another rise in temperature uh, as we get near the 6th, 7th, 8th of uh, December. And then beyond that, uh, wouldn't put a lot of faith in this at this moment. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights.